Hi there, it's Babs here from Madam So, and for today I'm going to be talking to you about the overcast foot. It's another simple clip-on foot from the 32-piece presser foot set, and this particular one has a bar in the centre where the overcast stitch jumps back and forth, and a blade down the centre that will um, guide the edge of your fabric as you uh, as you secure those side edges from fraying. So uh, go grab your stuff, and I'll show you how this foot works. As with the majority of the other feet in the Madam Sew collection, this is a simple bar connection which makes it very, very easy to attach to your sewing machine. And we thread the yarn through, or the thread, the thread through uh, to one side of the blade. So make sure that it runs to the right hand side of the blade or it will get caught up in the foot itself. Uh, it needs to run along the inside edge on the right hand side. And what I'm going to do is simply run through um, a piece of quilting or patchwork or sewing that has already been made. And we're going to align it with this blade and then the rest of the uh, the process will, will take care of itself. But the important thing that you need to know is that you are using a correct overcast stitch. So I'll just show you, show you what they look like. Now these are the overcast stitches on my sewing machine and both the red and the blue stitch are actually stretch versions of the overcast. But I will be using just the simple straight stitch for now, which is this black version here. And I'll show you how that works. There is a centre bar which hopefully you can see over um, the top of this paler fabric and what you need to do is hand crank to make sure that the needle will actually pass either side left and right of this bar uh, so you need to adjust your stitch width if necessary and the reason I say this I have a handy prop is that you want to avoid a bent needle now this is the um, the best outcome of, of hitting the bar. If you hit the bar with force and at speed, you can actually shatter your needle, which means that you then have bits of very sharp metal flying around your workroom, definitely to be avoided wherever possible. So please take the time to go through this hand cranking process before you start sewing for real. So let's get started. We just make sure that the edge runs along the blade. We now know that everything has the room to jump back and forth over the center spine. So we can just start to sew. And as you can see, we now have this overcast edge and the different stitches will give you different effects. So hopefully this is a foot that you will be able to make very great use of, both for securing two pieces of fabric together for a pressed to one side seam or as part of preparation before you even start sewing so that you are safely and securely, securely binding your edges. I hope that tutorial was useful to you and if so, please subscribe to the Madam Sew channel for more tutorials and information on the Ultimate Presser Foot Set. I'll see you around for the next tutorial. Bye for now.